Hi, this is D5 Render. Welcome to this tutorial. This episode will focus on a daylight commercial space lighting setup for a natural wood themed restaurant. Here are the five perspectives we set for this scene, which all look natural and realistic thanks to the advanced lighting algorithm of D5 Render. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel. First, turn off the auto exposure in the effect panel. Switch to the view we'll be working on. For natural light, go to environment HDRI. I've chosen a nearly white HDRI as we want to create a cloudy environment. Next, adjust the sky brightness to light up the scene and ensure the sky is not overexposed. You can rotate the HDRI to position the clouds in a more visually appealing spot. For the sky's color temperature, we can make it slightly colder. The HDRI sun is also critical for natural lighting. After turning it up, adjust the sun to a position where it can cast atmospheric shadows. For example, we can elongate the shadows of the chairs, making the ground look layered. Then, make the sun a bit warmer in color temperature. Adjust its brightness to 0.5, ensuring the light colored ground is not overexposed. With the natural lighting settings done, don't forget to save the changes by clicking update in the scene list. You can see the light and shadow of the entire space outlined. Further brightening the dark areas, we need some artificial lights to enhance the light transition. First, zoom out the camera to determine the direction of the key light source for the entire restaurant. Place a rectangular light here, not too bright, with a big attenuation radius and a neutral color temperature. Let's check the difference between with and without this light. It can brighten up the entire scene and enrich the reflection details of metal objects. However, it shouldn't be too bright because we will add more accent lights later. Otherwise, it may cause overexposure. Now, add rectangular lights on the right according to the size of each window. Give them a big attenuation radius and a neutral color temperature. They shouldn't be too bright or the scene will look flat. Make sure the light source on the left side is always brighter than the right ones. Next, add a point light inside the pendant lamp above the table. We don't want it too bright, just enough to illuminate the table and create a warm atmosphere with a color temperature between 3000 and 4000 Kelvin. The point light setup also works for those inside the wall lights. The overall lighting is in place. Check the whole scene, specifically the left corridor. The wall has a full length window, yet doesn't have light and shadow behind it. So we'll add a rectangular light here in this way, the entire corridor is lit up and looks much better. If you feel the chair backs look dark, don't worry. We can add a rectangular light behind the camera. Turn down its brightness or it'll mess up the current lighting. And as always, don't forget to save the scene. After completing the light settings, you can move on to the effect panel, making some post-processing. Turning loot on can add a specific atmosphere. Here, we choose the D5's built-in loot desert with low intensity. Then, adjust the effect parameters as you need, such as exposure, contrast, shadow, white balance, bloom, and saturation. The scene is all set to render. That completes our tutorial. You can download the scene in the video description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.